Isn't life funny? When I go into the world, kinda like I knew about the nose running. Let me mix it up, kinda like it was a comedic event when I stir it up. I just keep it all lively most of the time. You know what's funny to me is when uh, people unbox their new toys on the internet and uh, they're so dramatic about the packaging. It's just like, if if I have something new, I, I want the device. I, I want the device. I, I don't I don't care about the box. But it's so crucial nowadays that that if you don't show the, the contents of the packaging, it's it, it it's low ratings. Like you'll get you get down down votes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so uh I was I was evicted recently uh from my apartment last year. And it's funny to me because, you know, I'm a law abiding citizen. Like I pay my taxes and you know, I listen to what the president says, but apparently no one else listens to what the president says. Like we have an executive order or a mandate. And I'm like, okay, I have till the end of the year. No, Jay, you don't have till the end of the year. We don't listen to the president. No way. Yo, know, in my opinion, the, the most situational scenario in television sitcoms is always involving alcohol. There's always an episode to any comedy where alcohol is involved. Like you got the Cosby show, Vanessa got smashed. You got the Friends episode, someone got trashed. Um, I just, I just think <laughs> we're never gonna learn from those types of scenarios. Like they're so common, and yet we still have them in in sitcoms. All right, so yo, uh, if I could try to mimic one character in my life, it would be President, former President Barack Obama, because. Uh, his pauses, you ever hear him give a speech or give a conference, you ever talk to uh, the American people and he'll like pause? Like, because, and it's the deepest, most profound statement that you've ever heard, but that pause, you gotta, you gotta find the pause. So, I mean, it's, it's funny to me. Okay, so I tried to pick up a girl once. Um, One-liners don't really work for me, but uh, I, here's what I said to where I was like, hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. I think I have asthma because every time I look at you behind, I stop breathing. Yeah, it hasn't worked since. You know, I, I, I try not to watch movies about Jesus at night because they could be a real nail biter. Get it? Okay, so um, in my opinion, the most over-the-top experience you could ever have in your life is a uh, is a bachelor party and it's because you know at a bachelor party you never know if you're gonna end up with wild animals in the room random strippers and um a mattress on the roof just you, you can't expect it you just have to understand that's inevitable Yo, know, i'm that type of person on social media that gets pissed off if uh one of the people i follow doesn't post a story every day because it's like what am i gonna do with my life you know i scroll constantly for no apparent reason and now the person that i love virtually doesn't want to tell me about her day that that makes me sad okay so someone needs to explain to me the meaning of a nod is as good as a wink to a blind bat i've watched this movie 20 25 years ago and i, I I'm, I'm still a little lost help yo you know what's ironic to me is when you go on instagram and you just had the thought that you wanted sushi and you go to your feed and guess what the ad is for mcdonald's like i didn't want that i wanted sushi you know figure it out